So my honey Nathan's Nook tagged me in a disgusting trend known as an end of year book tag. So I decided I'd make one too, cause fuck it. And let's go. So I've been writing a thesis this year. I've been doing a whole bunch of other shit. I've been very depressed and I've, I've been doing a lot. And I'm seeing all these booktubers go, ooh, I've read 150 books this year and I've read 70 so far and I will not be emasculated anymore. I've had to read a whole bunch of book of bullshit. There's been, there's been a lot, there's been a lot, there's been a lot. And I'm hoping for the end of the year now that a lot of that has kind of subsided, I can move back to reading uh, whatever I want, which will be nice, and I'll make some general reviews as I go. I'm thinking I might do some video essays like the scumbag I am. I don't know yet, I haven't decided. Right, let's do these questions, baby. I have a small stack here. Question one, are there any books you started this year and need to finish? God, yes. My Goodreads has, I think, like 30 books saying I'm reading, and that that's just books I've picked up and gone, oh, that looks nice, and then I put it on the reading tab so that I know to come back to it and read it. The ones I've actually started and have been reading are two big fuckers. The two that I really want to finish by the end of the year, but I know will never happen, are uh, Soul Mountain by Gao Jingjiang. Uh, I fucked that name up. I'm, I'm gonna have to edit that. Uh, he is a Nobel Prize laureate from the year 2000. Uh, he wrote that book when I believe he was being exiled from China, or he was moving from China or something like that. And I've read about 100 pages. It's really good! And I, re I want to read the whole thing before the end of the year. Um, yeah, it's pr it's really cool. It's it's crazy. It's nuts. And the other one is, of course, uh, Solenoid, um, which some people have finished. Uh, I think they're filthy liars. I don't think anyone can finish this book. Um, I'm bang on halfway, I think. Um, and I've got to finish that before the end of the year, too. Number two, do you have any autumnal books to transition to the end of the year? What the fuck does that mean? So I grabbed some books that I think are relative to the concept of an autumn book. I don't know if these take place in autumn, I haven't read them yet. Um, we have a couple of Booker books. I was at a, um, massive, uh, book sale thing, and I, I was abs- I was ravenous. I looked like such a dickhead as I was running through, like, mm, yes, more books please, and I ended up spending like 80 bucks. But I got nearly every Booker book ever, so maybe John Banville's The Sea? I think that might fit the description of an autumnal book. Uh, of a man in the autumn of his life, I think. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and the other one is um, uh, RPJ's Heat and Dust, uh, a very small book. Um, this looks great. I love her adaptations or her adapted screenplays that Merchant Ivory made. So, what's that like? Remains of the Day. Um, how it's ended, she write that? Fuck it, I, I can't remember. A Room with a View, of course. Yeah, she's she's fantastic, um, and I can't wait to read a book from her. That 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 should be interesting. So yeah, those are my those are my two autumn books because I'm such a seasonal girly. Those those are my two. Number three, is there a new release that you are still waiting for? Ooh, the, to come out this year? I don't know. I mean, I'm in Australia, um, and uh, we get books later here. So I think people have been talking about that North Woods book, um, and that hasn't come out here yet. Um, even if it does come out, I probably wouldn't read it by the end of the year, though, so I, I don't know. I mean, I think the list of books that I have to read this year uh, is the stuff that I'm gonna... Like, I'm not gonna read anything outside of that. So, in terms of new releases, I don't know if that'll be particularly applicable for this year. I don't know, I... 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 Hmm. I think it's... I've got such a back catalogue, I've, I've ignored things that have happened in the year of our Lord 2023. So, maybe... maybe next year will be... will be different. Number four, three books you want to read by the end of the year. Well... Yeah, Solenoid, Soul Mountain, and then also, um, some of the uh, Otessa Moshfeg stuff. I have a really funny video idea for Otessa Moshfeg's books, and I started Lavona, so I I'll need to read all of those books as well, so fuck it. My- the three books are, uh, Year of Rest and Relaxation, Eileen, and Lavona. Uh, I'll do all three of those in one video. Um, so those are the three I still have to read. Fuck, I wanna- I've got so much. Number five, are there any books that could shock you and be your favourite book of the year? Um... Let me think. I think my top three books of the last six months or so um, are pretty sewn up when I make my next video about best books I read so far this year. I think my top three is pretty impenetrable. Two books that I think could are um, uh, GGM's The General in His Labyrinth. I've had this for a while and I've read nearly everything he's written uh, and this is like the one that's missing. Um, even, even though it sounds great, a great concept, uh, the, the cover of this book feels like sandpaper, a uh, big fan of that. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'll get to that one by the end of the year, it's, it's pretty low on my sort of reading list, but I, I mean it, it looks great, and I'm sure it would be, so... But maybe, maybe if I get to it. And then the other one that I think could be on there is Marguerite Yusinar's A Coin in Nine Hands. 
It's an ugly ass cover, don't let it fool you. Uh, Marguerite Yusena, she's the author who wrote Memoirs of Hadrian. Um, I think she's a genius. That book is pretty much perfect. Um, and I've been wanting to read all of her other stuff because that book just kind of inspired me. And I've read one other book of hers and it was completely different to Memoirs of Hadrian, which was interesting to me. And this book, A Coin in Nine Hands, looks different still. The premise is it, it follows a coin um, throughout a period of time in fascist Italy and it lands in the hands of someone who attempts to assassinate Mussolini. Uh, great premise, um, and I, I love her, and I, I think that that could jump to the list, but I haven't read it yet. From the first couple of pages, it's, again, radically different to Memoirs of Hadrian. She, she's a chameleon, I think. I, I don't know. And number six, have you started making reading plans for next year yet? Yeah, I'd say so. What I want to do next year is orient my year around a couple of really chunky books that I have to read. So I imagine next year I'll get caught up in reading some of the Booker stuff, I'll get caught up reading some more Nobel Prize stuff, and some video ideas I have, I'll have to go out and research that. So I just want to orient my year around, like, middle March, or, let me think, uh, Brothers Karamazov, uh, Books of Jacob, I still haven't read that. There's a few that I, I need to have read that I haven't yet, and I'm going to orient my year around reading those big fuckers, um, and, th and that'll just be how I do it. So that those are my plans, and then from there, who knows. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to tag a whole bunch of booktubers that are about as small as I am. I'll just tag people who are in my sort of immediate vicinity, subscriber-wise. Uh, just, just, e even, even if we're not really aware of each other, I'll do that anyway. I have a review of Prophet Song coming at some point. It's gonna be so long, I'm gonna have to edit that shit down. And the other book of books I'll read eventually. I have some other ideas. Uh, but that's, that's the list. Let's go, baby. Here's my stack. Do I do that cute little YouTube thumbnail where I, Jesus, where I pose and I'm like, ooh, and I do like that or something. Is that what I'll do? That, that'll be the thumbnail. Anyway, thanks guys. Oh, fuck me. Uh -huh.